We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is going to fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson. And the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most. The ones that move us, change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together, what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. Hello, everybody. Uh, we've got our Valorant team coming up against uh, WSU, I believe, Ushida? Something like that? Something like that, right? How do you say it? WSU? Wichita? Wichita? Wichita. Wichita. All right. Oh, it's Wichita. Yeah, so we got Valorant coming up. Uh, looks like we're doing map bands right now. Sorry, I am. I'm Arjem. I forgot to introduce this. I'm Arjem Oceanus. I'm sitting over at the production side, yep. so you don't have me on camera. And I'm joined by uh, Tristan Romero. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Doing well, first time casting. Kind of excited. Yeah, yeah. You just say stuff, man. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> yeah, this is first time ever casting, and surprise, surprise, it's for Valorant. And I am currently a part of the Triton Esports, but I am playing for League. For League, okay. Yeah. But you you dabble in Valorant. Here and there, yeah. I mainly just like play for fun. I don't really super pay attention to um like the details towards the Valorant game, but I played like a few games here and there. Okay. There yeah, go. so we're waiting on our guys. So our team actually played, I believe it was last week, in yeah. uh, like we threw a tournament uh, <laughs> locally, and they did pretty good, uh, given that like one of the teams they played against was like super stacked. They did good. Yeah, I believe it was a local tournament, correct? Yeah, okay. it was for... um. Uh, because we're, the local scene here is also part of, like, uh, this international level esports, yes. and, uh, we were doing the tournament to find, like, okay, what team should we send to represent Guam? Yeah. There. Oh. Okay. Still waiting on picks and bands. I'm yeah, I think they're, everyone's getting ready. Yo, and. Can we talk about the UOG internet we got here? <laughs> like, the it ping is pretty good. We got is, 120 here. It is freaking good. Even for League, my goodness, is the ping phenomenal here. Let me get some music going in. It's kind of yeah. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all these PCs, man. It's crazy. It's crazy what we've got set up now. I know. All I think when I see all these PCs here is how much money they spent on this. <laughs> Because I know that um, they actually had everything for the PCs. They were, I think, they were just missing the graphics cards for most of them, which is I can't remember which ones they got. But I know that that was almost the reason why they didn't um, open up the arena yet or have PCs available for the players or athletes to use. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're running, but like we've got things up and going now. It's it's pretty crazy. I that like know. we can all just be we can have the team in here playing locally we didn't yeah. have that last semester like you know everyone is playing from their own home and yeah. you can run into issues like with your internet you know uh, you know guam yeah <laughs> a little rain and it's over for real uh, the weather is always predicting our internet <laughs> also i was just told or i was told earlier that uh, it's gonna be a little weird casting this compared to the last time, uh, the last tournament, because yeah. uh, obviously this is like 
in the esports uh, setting. Yeah. So in fairness, I, we will only be seeing our team's perspective and what they can see. So we won't see mm. like we won't see sight lines. We won't see uh, silhouettes through walls. And the mini map, like, we'll only have the information the players have. Okay. So it'll be that's interesting. That's yeah. That will be the eyes of the fellow players that are competing today on our side. Probably coach will be nitpicking everything that, it, that they do. <laughs> it is just the start of the season, so. You know, it's the time to, like, see what you can improve on. Yeah, it's for like, sure. It's a crucial, a crucial time. Yeah, we're almost doing the same thing for like the league side, but we're we like do it through like just like playing some flex queue games, and then of course, Coach Dono would be spectating us because most of us would be in the arena using the PCs, and then it was easier for Dono to kind of uh, oversee us and to like really see like how we play the game. So yeah. Pretty sure that the fellow coach here for the FPS team will also do the same while they're in game. Yeah, so uh, I actually don't know much about the rosters this semester. What do we have for, uh, what are you playing for League? Uh, I know for League, I, I know I can say main roster, I guess, for uh, the NACE, because we're still waiting for like a confirmation. But for main roster, for NACE, it's top lane, it is Maui. Okay, yeah, he was last semester, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's actually this... Most of the, mostly the same? Yeah, it's mostly the same, but uh, like three changes happened. So jungle is Juju, which is from last semester. Mm -hmm. Mid lane is me, uh, Crimson Comet. Uh, AD is actually new. It's yours from 2021 roster. And support is actually um, Hycon, which he actually... Uh, uh, roll swap to support. Okay. Yeah. And you guys don't know like when your game is yet. No, we're actually still waiting for that. <laughs> but we we are uh, putting in some games, some games with uh, two new players, uh, so we can you know get the when we're in game we can have like smooth communications and then of course like bonding to help fortify that communication with each other. Yeah. The the most I've interacted with the league team was uh, I don't think you were a part of it. I don't remember seeing you, but uh, we uh, <laughs> last year we did the Halloween stream. Oh, and those guys did the VR horror game. Yeah, I, I, w I was supposed to actually come, but I I had gotten sick during that okay. weekend. Dude, so. that was a that was a good stream. Yeah, I, I was watching it as well, and I was just laughing my <laughs> my butt off. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, we have this room. We don't always yeah. got to do matches for streams like if people want to do some if the teams want to put together something fun to stream like i know i'm around just tell me i think i actually might pitch that idea to to ken <laughs> or if anything you can since uh since you're here <laughs> yeah i mean you guys just tell me like if if the room's open i'll do it also like uh barry actually left us with the the oculus, oculus. yeah oh, so yeah. we can use that again whenever he said it was for the room now oh okay okay can dabble here and there with some horror games, maybe. So these guys are still setting up, I think. Okay, so we are. Looks like the teams have their sides decided already. Mm. Uh, looks like we'll be starting defense, most likely. Which color would be defense? And defense would be like blue, right? Well, For on defense? here it's red. I don't. I don't know. Really? <laughs> That's. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's bizarre. Oh, okay. Well, looks like everyone's still getting in, getting in their stuff ready. Yeah, can't wait to see if we are able to compete for for UOG over collegiate over the collegiate tournaments. Hopefully, they do accept so so that we can show showcase the league team. It's true. I also did just notice. Thank you to whoever that was that pointed out in chat, or not in the Twitch chat, but in mm -hmm. our Discord that I didn't upload the uh, or I didn't update the lower third. So, uh. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. I think it's correct. It's correct. It's just the dates are wrong. Yeah, we we <laughs> did some rescheduling. Okay. 
Don't worry, that's probably just for next week. <laughs> Am I right in saying this that for the Valorant and Overwatch team, their uh, matches are every week, right? Like it will be Wednesday they and Thursday. They should be, but okay. uh, you know, like they're all students, yeah. So you've got to like work around class schedules and on top of that, time zones. Yep, definitely. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we had both matches rescheduled to today. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, while we're waiting, I think they're almost ready. Yeah, I think I, yep, I see the lobby has already been made. Everyone's getting into their seating. I don't know if they do seating orders for Valorant, but I know for League, we kind of do when we make lobbies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have time. We could also just give a shout out to our sponsors, GTA, uh, Glide Path, and Guam Army National Guard. So thank you guys for like supporting the program. Yep. How far we've come. It looks like we are just about ready to get into it. Let's switch over to that. I didn't even know we had stream elements. Thank you, Jamartos. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just I that. didn't even know we had those <laughs> set up. Well, thank you for the follow. Okay, we're getting into it. So it looks like we are Starting on Ascent. I think typically people really like this map. Oh, it was Ascent, correct? Yep. Yeah. I've never seen people really complain about this map <laughs> in the way that people complain about others. Really? Yeah, sorry. So we're both pretty inexperienced about yeah, that. <laughs> very inexperienced. <laughs> we'll try. Yeah. I wonder how like how much thought is is put like behind each like I agent right yeah so the f first thing you check is usually i just check for smokes so we yeah do have the jet and we do have a brimstone um and then i like the kj pick here you, you do want at least one sentinel because the map is pretty big so you want to be able to lock down at least one side yep We, oh, yeah. we're just chilling. Yeah. I wonder how much similar it is compared to Lee with uh, picking your uh, agents or champions in a way, because I know that certain agents, agents would oh, have <laughs> synergy with each other, and they'll be like almost like prio picks in a way. Oh uh, yeah. Well, there's not really a pick ban phase. Yeah, I. I well, did there was. I did see. There but was kind of a prior yeah. pick, as in like you always picked him. Like when Chamber was really good, yeah. But he's he's gone now. I did see <laughs> that they were trying to implement like a pick ban uh, style for Valorant, but I'm not sure if it actually went through. All right, so we are getting into it now. Uh, we will be starting on the defense side, Ooh. which is usually good, you know. Uh, typically, the defending side is favored for most situations so establishing an early lead will be really good we'll see how our team does with that no. okay, I put right. data let's on get our into it combat missions. Did you read it so it looks like two no or yeah they're like evenly split Having both, trying to cover both sides of the map on A site and B site. Yeah, but you're gonna put mostly since you have a killjoy on B, you're gonna mm -hmm. send most of your team towards A, because uh, as a sentinel, you're uh, able, you're a little more capable in holding down the site on your own. Oh yeah, because of her turrets, correct? Her turret, her yeah. mines, and or well, her mollies. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see, yeah. Um, Yumiko's gonna hold mostly towards mid, a little bit towards B, and uh, Terminal's gonna be holding down the site for the most part. Like we do have the KO knife showing Ooh. up on B, <laughs> so yeah, Dog doesn't spot anything there, and Weir is already really up. Actually, gonna peek past the smoke, get the contact in mid, gonna get out of there. Spots three, yeah. so they know three's in mid. With some 
for good information. Can you see? Yeah, because of that, Yuko is going to tuck in here in the market. Oh. That smoke perhaps tells them that they're going to look to go through market. And yeah, immediately we smoke off the arches. Oh, could be a bait. Launching smoke. Oh. Okay, so coming in through tree, we get the, the paranoia and... Yeah, they're coming in fast now. That's oh, also have the enemy killjoy coming in through main. So there's multiple uh, sides to watch here. Yep. Looks like they're trying to cover all sides to oh. see if there's any lingering. Oh, one. Oh, very hey, it's nice. Four, four. Actually, we're up at one, but oh, two members are low. Golly. Let's take out a bit of a heal. That dart's gonna check. Hell a bit, but not the tight corners. Yep. Oh no. One. I believe that was a generator. Oh, oh it was hell. Oh, oh. Hey. oh That was a very good attempt. Hey, the try yeah, for this was, was a good try. It was close oh, first round. Don't give oh. them time to reposition. The fact that um the enemy jet got an ace means like she's already two points away from getting her and ultimate, the, yeah. right? Oh. And I seen some clips on <laughs> on jet alts whiffing and making a montage. <laughs> huh? My goodness, you can s see the difference on ping, and yeah, we can still pull off some kills. <laughs> yeah. So how these rounds usually go is, whichever, whenever you lose the first round, you're just gonna as the losing team. Mm -hmm. On the second round, you're usually just going to do like no buy at all or some light buys. And the goal, rather than ex like specifically trying to win the round, is just seeing how badly you can damage their economy by like just going for picks and stuff. Yeah, and basically almost having them sort of waste their buy on like a high. Get that paranoia yeah. through main, also having the <laughs> drone come through main. And Heaven's completely smoked off. Three members of WSU already on site. Door's actually open. <laughs> oh, oh the plan. timing. Very unlucky. Yeah. Oh, going in, checking the corners. Oh, man, it's looking hard, though. Yeah. Like, you got two classics. Okay, you got a ghost. And a sheriff. Okay, we get one. Oh, oh. Oh. Damn, that was a really fast uh, rush towards the east side. It, yeah, it's because uh, WSU knows they have the firepower advantage. So they can sort of play that way because they know they're probably just running into a few pistols. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But now we have our first full buy round for both sides. So this is like where the game really starts now. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna really ramp up now. <laughs> also, that knife is sick. I know. I wonder how much that costs. <laughs> okay, so we get some util on A initially. Mm hmm. Looks like there's a lot of defense set up on B side, just in case. But they're still making sure on A side and through mid. By the looks of it. Yeah, a lot of attention put towards the A side and mid. Like B is mostly just left alone. They yeah. just left the turret. Yeah. It looks like they're fully content with it. if B gets rushed, it, they most likely get in and try to probably just content with playing. Retake. Oh. Looks like they're coming in through the mid side. And there's a few garage dudes. At least two in mid. There they are. Here the door close, so this is most likely left. going to be an A. Yep, the spike is going down. Looks like they rotated spike over. Planted. Okay, there's one marked. This spam coming through. Mm, looks like 
trying to do a pincer maneuver. Oh, bad. The jet is kind of just going crazy. Yeah, it's always the jet. <laughs> This is rough. Look at the, look at the credits. Damn, but we still gotta believe there's always a turn point, eventually. <laughs> yeah, it also just looks like our team is, uh, they're getting a little comfortable. You see them, they're playing really back. Even yeah. when they had full buys, they were playing really back. But it is a best of three, so you know you have that time to adjust and get a feel for your opponent. Yep, those were just warm ups. Now they start. <laughs> Alright, it looks like they're fully no not fully committed, but making sure everything goes. We also see some smoothly. stingers out on our team. Yeah. So I've I've been informed that the stingers now the the eco grim reaper. Yes, I, I I've heard that they actually lowered the cost. Yeah, it got cheaper and it's just well on on like also with the combined factor of, I believe they made the spec, they nerfed the specter, was it cost or? Yeah, didn't they, they nerfed specter a bit, right? Yeah, so. Hmm. It's just more favorable to get a stinger. Yeah, especially since they lowered the cost. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're trying to go B though. Turret is yep. down, but you know, it, it's a hard one to hold, you got a classic. Most of the uh, utils gone already. Standing. Oh, and, oh, and there was that. one waiting. They sent one to bait on the A side. Don't sit down. We're not done yet. Okay, but we've got another buy round coming up. And uh, with the way ult charges are right now you can play for like a pick and ult orb and then use that to hold but in terms of defense really we're closest to the jet or the sky ult which aren't as powerful as like you know the the other ults yeah. they could get yeah, let's see, let's see how they play out. yeah this is a more oh. of a aggressive stance we're seeing from weary here Looking for a scout. Hit the turret spots. Destroyed. Spots one in garage. Oh, there are a few there. Yep. So we'll see how we start moving. You see, we're get to pick it, man. Oh, nice. Okay, immediately gonna fall back. You know, just take your winnings and reposition. Looks like they might actually be rotating back towards A since there's not much happening on the B side. Let's see what happens. We do know that a few were in garage, which means they're most likely in lobby still. Yeah. Or they're on tiles. You see one coming, I believe that came from mid top. So we have an idea of where they're positioned yet. You see one yeah. coming out through tiles. Cover fire right there. Oh, oh gets caught. Yeah, well. I feel like I do feel like they gave up after that initial pick in mid. They did give up a bit too much space in A. Yeah. yeah and now it, it just gets it just gets ran over. Yeah, because I think they actually just left Brimstone by himself. Oh, they're trying to convene to where left. they're fully going. Either Spikes are down, doors going down. Oh, it's hard, they've got to play 3v4. Yeah. You should Let's run. hope they can pull the clutch. Oh, here it comes an ultimate. Blind for a blind, though. Yep. Yeah, this might just be a save. Yeah, by the looks Oh, so. man. Uh oh. Yeah, you're going to have Milky try and hold here. Or their teammate. Yeah, but it looks like just gonna be a save here. Alright, and now the score line's looking rough. Indeed. It's 0 5. 
we're gonna have only two rifles going through this, but we will have working? the jet knives available. So this might just be heavy shield. Or okay. Takes a sheriff. <laughs> Time out. Bot coming back. Yeah, I'm like, man. Look, WSU is Facing alarm boss. Three of them are capped. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. We are just gonna get the ult popped out from Weary. Okay, immediately see the KO knife on Garage, which is uh, reassuring the Weary. Knows that uh, the knife won't get, or yeah. their knives won't get shut down anymore. Oh, it looks like they're sending. Sending it towards B side. Or they could just be baby. Maybe. No. Yeah, it's the market smoked out. This might be the start. Yep, preemptively Yo. pops the Molly. You got three members already swinging out of the garage. Oh. Oh, man. Unlucky. Right here. Close, it's close. Very close. Okay, dodges, yeah. Oh. So, like, a priority to dodge that KO knife because you don't want your ult to just be denied. Yeah. I guess the one with a spec. Unlucky. Damn. It's not looking too bright for the UOG yeah. Tritons. I feel like the problem right now Here. is that, um,. UG isn't fighting for enough space for themselves because once WSU decides what site they want to push, like they're pretty free to do so. Yeah. I think probably after this, hopefully they can try and turn it around. They can actually fully be aware of like how Wichita would play now. Or like, you know, what's their go to uh strategy from these past six games. Yeah, see, we've got three ults to play, but they're all pretty good ults, too. No. Yeah, you see, look how forward Weary's going. If Weary's able to go all the way around, like, this is going to be huge. Yeah. Especially with the pacing that WSU has been playing with. Yeah. Like, before they even commit to a site, Weary might get behind them. Yep, I can get some really valuable information. It's a crazy position we're in right now. And we are up in numbers. Here's a Sovadar actually go out. That most likely came from tiles based on the audio. Yeah, but I think we're just going to sit tight most likely in case they decide to uh, rotate through mid into A. Yep. Oh. Yep. Second. Yep. Nice. Spike down mid. Yeah. I have a feeling because when you're down a member, seconds left. you don't want to challenge the Killjoy utility, which you know is set up on B because it's been set up every round. Yeah. So they were most likely to try and rotate to A. Yep, through the mid midpoint. And it looks like they're going back to Oh, the looks B like side. it's going through Garage. They know. Will they make it on time? If the Killjoy can pop the utility, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it gets one because they, they had the rush it. through. I think that's it. Yep, they're out of time. Yep. Very nice. And the timing by Weary to catch two. Yeah, that was really good by Weary going that much forward and then being in a secure spot to yeah. and pick that's, them off. That's just what I mentioned right at the start of the round is they need to create that space for themselves because right they, prior to that, they were giving WCU like free reign of the map. Yeah. Hopefully they can rinse and repeat now. <laughs> well, uh, maybe they might actually try and catch him out since that had happened last round Get out of my way. yep i think they they're being extra careful from which saw side yeah now you gotta mix it up right you can't just push up unless they no well looks like most of them are actually coming through mid oh i think which some might be sticking to their and original this is a bit plan. faster than usual yeah yep oh i think they're just full sending it i hope it's a 3v3 KO is not revived yet. 
Oh, one's actually on site. I believe that's, uh, that should only be one on site because... No, okay, two. Wait. They just left the KO. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, they just left it. Revealing area. And but if that dart doesn't spot anyone, you have a good idea of where they've moved yeah, to. Yeah, they must be inside. And it's how do they play this? You got two smokes to go with. One enemy oh, nice. Okay, very Push nice. Push it together. Let's nice. go. That's two in a row for Tritons. Oh, they're turning it around. Very good. Looks like Bush saw is actually starting to fumble a bit. They were in the lead up by six, and now they're making. I more than yeah, I think it's just important that like uh, our team is finally changing their pacing a bit, and that's not to say you should always go in, always yeah. stay back. Like the important thing is to mix it up. Yeah, but from like last round, looks like they were just making really brave choices <laughs> to full send it through the midpoint. Yeah, hopefully, Giant Esports can actually pull through and hopefully see through their plans. Because I think they've been actually doing the stuff through mid for quite yeah. some time. Yeah, so. fine. Through mid, farm bot, bots them. Man, they're moving in. Yeah, oh, I like yo. the ult. Stop, it, uh, stop them and give time for the team to group. Like, you see that ult stalling, Weary's coming through. I don't know if Weary's going to make it on time, though. Oh, looks like Riri's going for the flank. Yeah, but the the timing this time was, you see, because the reason it worked last time was because WSU was playing, like, they weren't pushing until maybe the last 30 seconds of yeah, the round. But this slowly. time, it didn't work this time. Well, you know, it might work, but it didn't, wasn't the same oh, effect yeah. as last time because of how fast WSU pushed. Yeah. Like, looks like our Tritons are making it into sight, but time is ticking. They've yeah. got to find something now. Oh, that was very unlucky. It's the timing again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my uh, shit. <laughs> being held by two, it's yeah, it's yeah. hard. Probably just. Looks like he's just gonna save. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just save it. Don't take the duel because, you know, in the case you get traded, it's they've got so many credits that if you trade a kill, it's gonna be bad for us. Yeah, because then that, that will probably mean that you have to spend more of your credits. Nice yeah, it looks like there's... Looks like they're going to secure up this side, but they're switching up how they're going to secure it. Yeah, it looks like we've actually put more members, so we've moved Milky over to... Uh, to be, yeah. I see. You just want people more readily able to respond to yeah. the mid push. Ooh, okay, that was a nice pick. Wins the duel, yeah. But this time, since we were spotted, it's gonna back out. Yeah, don't want to fully come out on that side. Smoke. I believe we did hear some stomping on Cat. See, we also do have the Killjoy ult available, which is extremely powerful for retake. But they also do have the Hunter's Fury available, which can be used in response. Mm -hmm. Looks like they might be pushing towards A side. Yep. Right, and we see two in main, but we already you got tagged run. up a lot. We're actually seeing the enemy Killjoy ult come out here. Spike planted. And you've got to respect it. Such a strong ult for zoning. Yeah, definitely. We'll see how we play now. If they've got time, this might be a good position uh, that uh, Terminal is going for. Maybe it might be. Maybe. They, oh. Yeah, they've got the side too. Last player standing. Unlucky. Let's see if you can catch any exits. Or play it safe because you're 
really low on credits. Yeah, probably should just play it safe. So that's round 10. We got two more rounds in this half. So our team now has the decision of buying here or, you know, just half buy and then take the last round with a full buy. I would probably assume it's probably better to just wait until next round, correct? To full buy? Uh, yeah, I think so. You could also try and get Weary and Ultorb. But the Ultorbs, uh, the Ultorbs in this are very leaning towards the attacking side. It's very hard to get them safely as defense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should probably just save until next round. But let's see how it all pans out. Okay. Nope. Found one mid. Sova also has to be nearby because that drone was looking. Yeah. Blinded. Looks like everything's all quiet on the A side. Yeah, that smoke is pretty strong because that means if they choose to push Yumiko now, it's an isolated fight. Yep. Yeah, that's Ooh. what I mean. Like the team couldn't provide any support because that smoke just cut it off. Yeah. Probably. Cut off their eyes to see who's coming through mid. Oh, it looks like they're rotating to A now. To the same Oh yeah, point. you hear the window broken. So yeah. there's one tree. Oh. There goes her mouth. 30 seconds left. Planted. Oh. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna wait for the team to regroup first before he moving pushed in. Through. Yeah. Oh, the stinger clip. Very unfortunate timing right there. Reloading while. <laughs> yeah, it's because uh, I mean the stinger has good kill time, but its its clip is so small that. Yeah. Uh, how unfortunate. Right, we come into the last round of this half. Last round before the switch. Last round to use our creds and abilities. Don't waste your firepower. Time out. I feel like so the K we've been saying on the KJ ult for a while. I feel like yeah. WSU is gonna try and bait it out first. Yeah, I think they they probably will since they know. I think for sure now that they you have to use it. Yeah, yeah. that and like KJ's or KG is like main, mainly on the B side. I mean, for all they know, they that's an Odin. Yeah. Well, looks like Riri is pushing forward. Slowly but surely, making sure everything's safe and clear Get off as well. Way. Oh, that's not a good sign with the ops. Oh. oh, I wonder how they knew. Maybe they sniffed it a mile away. Yeah, it's hard now. They've got an op as well. Well, it actually won't matter with the way our team is tucked back. No, looks like they're just trying to look for someone to make a mistake. Oh, one. Oh, looks like they're going towards A side. Oh, my sound rather panting. Oh. And they close the door. Yeah, I do want to say I, I, I would like to see Aladdin use his smokes a little more proactively. He's, you know, at these middle parts of the rounds, we usually see him sitting on all three smokes. Oh, yeah. I just lost that as well. Also, the Sova ult didn't kill the KJ ult. Uh, one gets the fuse. Oh, but the squad, the oh. firing squad's out. So it's a 2 10 half. It's, it's a lot of work for, uh, lot of work for us. Yeah. Well, let's hope that he can turn it around. Since they're on the offense side, let's see, let's see what they have to Making offer on, for the, on, on their offense side. It's 
So it looks like they're just going to be pushing towards B side and sending one towards A side or no A side to scout it out. Yeah, you're going to have you have Termula watch mid here while staying in range of turret just in case they try to push through uh, A there. Yeah. I don't the knife actually detects that. Well, I know. a lot of us yeah. tucked in the tiles here. You're gonna let Weary peek because Weary does have the uh, the sheriff. But also, they know about the sheriff by now. They heard it, so th yeah. they're gonna be respecting it a bit more. Probably play a little tighter. Well, looks like Weary's gonna check the A side now. Slowly pushing forward on A side. Oh, oh man. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's rotating towards B side. Oh. Okay. Saw him last oh, second. Quick shot, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, actually, it doesn't get anyone with that blind. Oh. Unlucky. Stay taught as a bow street. The fight demands it. Yeah, I have to say it again, because it is a sound, right? You've got really s wide sight lines. Some of these areas are really big that, um, you know, we need to see the smokes to create space. But it feels like a lot of these peaks are either just, like, dry or with a flash. Yeah, probably should probably look into that more so that they can create more opportunities for them to have uh, Weary, you know, push forward and have oh them make God. those plays again. That's the Ares oh. around two. That's an awkward position to be in with those, with that many openings there. Match point. We gotta pick you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real now because it's a best of three. Yep. So right now, honestly, just I think slow it down, milk your time, and just start talking about the next game. Yeah. At this point, you might as well just be strategizing on how to like what adjustments need to yeah. be made and and how to like quickly adapt to how Wichita like you know makes their own strategies and which points to really focus on because when they're on the offense side for Wichita they mainly go through like the midpoint and then almost like stray off some of their players towards like A side then mid and then I think they they would also send one maybe to B side do the long, long route. Yeah. You see, Milky's super pushed up, but does have the spike, so this is pretty risky. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay, a flash comes through, and I believe that was through mid. Now, let's see if we can release. Get a few kills in before the next round or next game. The plane drawn. Yep, the shots, those came from the Enemy right. Attack. Yep. With smoke and tiles left. dissipated, you might need to check if that's, uh, if anyone was pushing up. Oh, there was one holding the 
can help you there too. Oh. No. Oh, unfortunate. Defenders win. I felt like that last one, there was a bit of miscommunication there. <laughs> From the first person that yeah, died. The attack was very... I mean, they didn't have many rounds to adjust to attack, but it was very disorganized. Yeah. So, that is game one going to WSU. Let me update that. Very right. unfortunate. But well, let's hope they can bring it back. What was this one? All right, so yeah, our team is stepping out. Uh, I think big break. I mean, it's a it was a pretty big scoreline. They've yeah. got a lot to think about. Very much so. Yeah. Any any first impressions about that match? Anything? Any like things? Glaring weaknesses or anything bugging you? Honestly, it's hard for me to say because I don't fully. You don't really play. Yeah. I don't know fully. I'm not like fully aware like uh, the Valorant like strategic uh, side of things, but looks like that they're probably gonna have to prepare a lot, especially like when they're on the defense. You know how I notice for WSU, uh, they really like to go through mid the midpoint and yeah it's a i mean that's just generally a very strong point to contest because once you open up mid you gain you know in in any map really you gain access to either side yeah and then usually like i think i've seen like for maybe like a few rounds they actually like almost full send it through mid and almost um win on on that front set like having a full send through mid and then almost like I would see almost like the UOG side almost like being lost when they would make that sort of uh, play and trying to figure out if they're actually going to go through A side or B side. Yeah, my main thing is smokes first off because smokes are very like, oh, yeah, qu yeah, quintessential yeah. to the game because they because the game is based on sight lines and you know information and smoke uh, deny that. So playing around that is important, but we don't see enough smokes going down, especially at crucial moments, right? When you feel that the team is pushing through, you know, Brimstones is, it's one of those rechargeable ones, I believe. No, that's no. Omen. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, you know, he's got three charges. That's, that's mm. a lot. Yeah. So I, I, it's, I yeah. it's like, um, you know, you can, you can afford to drop one if you feel like something is coming, even if it's just a bait, even if they're just checking, like, it just needs to be used in yeah, some way. So it can create, like, as you said uh, earlier, uh, to like create like opportunities for others. Yeah. To like push through at certain points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So while we're waiting, I'm actually gonna let's do a quick commercial break. We'll yep. be right back. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson and the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most, the ones that move us, change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you. All right, we are back. Oh, looks 
looks like they're getting into the swing right. of things. It does here like we also are ready to get back into it. Oh my god. And we are going to... I will switch back. To... We're getting into Lotus, new map. Ooh. Dude, this map is sick. Never seen this map, actually. <laughs> Have I? I don't think so. Now, hopefully, from that last match, Neo UOG can make note from what what had happened last match and hopefully adjust their playstyle more. Yeah, it looks like that. They are going for different agents this time. Yeah, a different map. So we did see this map in our uh, light esports tournament. Well, not light esports, the GESF. And I assume we're gonna see the same picks we saw there. Actually, no, the comp was different, right? We had yeah. we had Snow, who was on the Reyna. Uh, but I do believe we'll see Harbor. I think Harbor is really strong on this map, especially with the way his util works. Um, because. I mean, he can cover because he can curve his wall. It covers a lot of lines at once. Oh. Um, Killjoy, having a Sentinel is important too because it is a three site map, so it is pretty big. Well, relatively. And what else will we see here? I do like the fade as well, just g given the shape of their ult because of the way. Um, the sites are structured, you'll get a lot of value out of ults like that too. Choose your agent. Oh my god. What was that? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Pause this. So here we go, we are starting on the attack this time. Oh, it's because team picks map, other team picks side, right? Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah. Damn, for league, we just choose which side. <laughs> yeah, you guys should do map picks in league. No, there's only, <laughs> there's only one map. <laughs> I wish there was more other maps. It would have been way Bro, more Dominion? interesting. Oh my goodness, how do you know that? <laughs> I, was, I played. <laughs> I miss Dominion, man. And Twisted Tree Line. Okay, Twisted Tree Line can go. It's what? gone already. I hate Twisted Tree Line. How dare you? <laughs> Dominion, though, was crazy. What was the other one? Uh, no, Dominion was the one with the center. It I was think. like almost like a diamond-shaped map for Dominion, yeah. Four. That's Twisted Tree Line. I think it was four. For which? One of the game modes was 4v4. This is really important. We should talk about this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen this map. Oh. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a crazy map. So it's uh, a three site map, which is the first one we've gotten since Haven, which was part of the base game release. We have our team oh. pushing into B already. Oh, oh, looks like they traded one for one. Yeah, it looks like our team's already in, though. And, yeah, so what, uh... Oh, damn, that's a sight. I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, I believe what Weary's in front of is the a door that's destructible. Really? Oh. Yeah, so bust through the door and then can push through there. Then there's these other doors. So we saw... Oh, oh quick peek. We saw one of the, um... The doors in uh, ascent, which are like yeah. these descending doors that you can break. In this map, instead of the doors being linear in that way, they spin around. Oh my oh god! Oh my lord! Shots are coming through. It's a one v one. Very good. Flank from Mary. Oh, nice. Hey. Good start. My goodness. Yeah, we're coming up huge. That's four for four for him. No wonder why the coach said that this is their map. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, they did. This is the map. They kept it closer. Was it ten? This is the ten thirteen map or something like that. Yeah. Mm, damn. Yeah, this map is cool. You also see, I mean, both teams. I was talking about the strength of them yeah. earlier, but you see both teams running both Harbor and Fade. Because mm -hmm. they're so good at controlling um, just the way these sites are designed. Ooh, the Marshall actually tagging up Weary there. Ooh, Weary one point away from ult. You can get one pick and we'll be able to make a lot of space if he decides to Reloaded. commit ult. Yeah, it looks like they're actually canceling their plans on going to C. It looks like they're just pushing through mid. Oh. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, it's trade. Trade coming through. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's trade there at some point. <laughs> and there's the ult, yeah. I mean, so you had an ult out of it. That's a trade in your favor, I believe. Yeah. Oh, that was actually good. That's like, a peripheral, bro. Yeah, they got really good information off of that. But now it's hard. Yeah. And you do know a lot of members are set up there. Maybe they might opt to use the door and just dip out? Looks like it. Yep. Yeah. Because you saw at least three on the right, on the far side of B. So there should be... Oh, there's actually two members of WSU on site here. Nice. I have the spike. Or maybe oh okay. oh unlucky. Actually, that was that was round two. I feel like both teams invested a similar amount of money because we did see Marshalls. Yeah, and then um, on the, the side sniper. of uh, WSU, so a bit of a force, and it I mean it pays off. Yeah, they yeah. even the score line, and they have the advantage in economy. Coming back. Let's hold that. The Tritons can bring it back. Looks like they're setting up some defense uh, going towards Seaside. Yeah, and I like this. This time playing a slower round. Yeah. See what information they can get first. Oh, I like the flash as a response. You deny the immediate casualty, but oh man! Oh, they oh don't know. nice! Last player standing. Oh, left alone. Okay. okay. I mean, this is a this is an eco round, right? Oh, that I'd I say see. that's good because <laughs> yeah. I mean, three. That was pretty good. They three kills is pretty good. That was a good. Oh wait, why are they so rich? <laughs> three, but. I think because they won the round. What the heck? Bro, I wasn't ready to see 6.8k. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I liked how Milky was patient enough to wait it out until, until you know, he was just right there front and center and then gave him kingdom come. So in terms of what we are close to the fade, that is one point away. Towards her ultimate. Threat. Yeah, so you see them okay. take control of this area and gonna give. <laughs> not taking the orb just yet. Bring them down. Okay. Actually, gonna put it towards uh, Aladdin and get uh, some points in towards that resurrect. I think resurrect would be good just in case. Yeah, just in case if someone gets picked off. Yeah, look at the way the team's split here. I would like to see you know, Terminal make a bit of noise, distract the team away. Dude, listen to them make the calls. I, I can like sort of just hear them through my headphones. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even notice the breach. The breach is a also a really strong pick. For the same reason I say Fade and Harbor are good, it's just because they covered a similar area. Mm -hmm. Thirty seconds left. Alright, but thirty seconds they've gotta they've gotta make a call soon. If they choose to now they can still make it to be Oh. 
I mean, there's one holding that... Dude, when I saw that angle at the waterfall... Yeah. <laughs> it came into play there. Oh. Oh, man. The, the bird's just dropping. Yeah. And the detain. Last player standing. Oh. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. That was unlucky. That was ankles broken. <laughs> Looks like Noki has her ultimate ready. So I'm, I'm not talking right now. I'm like I'm eavesdropping on their comms. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah. I like, like what I'm hearing though. Uh, yeah. We'll see if this approach works. It's uh, they're looking to maybe bait out some util and like you know, essentially just fake, right? Mm -hmm. Made out the utility that matters, which I guess would be that's a big one. You're also looking to get rid of uh, Raze's boom bot here. There's also a key one flashes. So they've only got one breach flash left. And there's the boom bot too. So, yeah, what they were saying, like a lot of util for Stella already. Yep. For little to no commitment. But actually, I didn't even notice the the guns we have on the Tritons. Three shots. So despite baiting all that out, how much work can they do with this? Oh, man. Oh, ooh, that's the range. I'm surprised that wasn't a, a kill right there. That looks like it was that's a range, right? It's like, what, like 145? Dude, the doors are sick. Oh. oh, what the tree jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Looks like someone was setting up a freaking tree house. It is even though, and then you can you can take some guns here. Oh my god. He opened the door at the same time he picked up the, the gun. <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> That's like, I heard this ult's broken. It's like constantly concussing, right? Yeah. Oh my lord. Okay, it's, th it's 3 to 1 though. Is this sick? Everyone can just like take a trade angle or something. They spot her. Oh. You should immediately like just regroup with your team. Yep. yep. And then just get ready to play off each other. Oh, actually, oh. you have the util on Spike, huh? That's one. Oh, one gets shot. Nice. nice loop around. Yeah, the timing there was perfect. Oh. Very, very good decision by that. I know I am by your side. All right, so yeah, they were talking about that at the start of the round. It looks like it, uh, looks like it worked out. Yep. Right, they bait out the util, and then once they decided to move in, uh, WC didn't have much to stop them with. No, that was a very good de decision by Terminal, making that loop around, doing it quietly. To make sure he wasn't heard. Sorry. Okay. Oh Looks like we're leaning towards C again here. Oh, where he has his all. It's because we have so much ult yeah. available. Oh, man. Hotspot's oh. one! Oh, my God. Oh no no! Oh, the, the turret. That's a Chad move, dude. <laughs> For real. Oh no! Oh, unlucky. Spike down. C. Last player standing. Can you shoot that? Is that real? Yeah, I thought you could shoot that. Can you? Is that late? <laughs> okay, we've got five volts. This is this is the one. Yep, 
I can feel it. This is the one. Okay, no, they, they don't got guns. <laughs> Never mind. Who says you need guns? Not bad. Don't overthink it. Yeah, we'll see how we they play this one. Looks like they're mostly gonna be stacking. Actually, no. It's a. This is like a. Okay, I was gonna say it was like a one three one split. No. Mm, looks like it's just one. Two. So is the wall, does Harbor have any rechargeable util? Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh man, that's three in mid. Or three on B. Oh, and that's a spike down. Spike down. Unfortunate. Uh, Terminal gets one. Actually, he gets two. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you just had to say something. <laughs> I think if you didn't say anything, he probably would have gone two. <laughs> Alright, for sure we let rip this time. <laughs> yep, for sure this There's time. There's no way we don't. I feel like you're jinxing it already, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully they can pull it pull it off. We got the guns, they got the ults. Now it's just up to the execution. Oh god. It's fine, it's fine. It's just a concussion. Scouting out slowly and quietly. Yeah, Leary's got a lot of space here, and according oh. to them, uh, WSU has committed a lot of util to mid. So maybe, maybe we've got some space here to work with on A. I think. I think once Weary gets a bit more support here, can look to use his ult. Yep. I think that's oh. a scary angle because he's right in front of the 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 door you can break. Yeah, I I noticed that. Oh, it looks like they're rotating over. Oh my god, so bold. <laughs> Watch your eyes. Oh. oh, spots one. There's a tree. Oh, spots another. Oh, a timing master. Oh my god, that was really good timing. I hate this ult! Oh my goodness, that's an awkward <laughs> spot to be in. <laughs> go, go. You wall it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Does the door not break it? Okay, okay. <laughs> you should run. Oh. Oh. What? They I misheard? Bro, you broke his wall! <laughs> <laughs> now we're making the wall look useless. <laughs> okay, hopefully they can stall long enough for for it to go off. Hey, they're in a good spot. Played really patient back there. Yep. Yep, by the from what I hear they're just trying to stall. Keep the KJ alive! Yep. Keep Nice. Let's go. Nice round. Despite the crucial mistake of opening that door, breaking down that wall, they they managed. That was a very important wall. And really, that's just that's poetic. That was. <laughs> and it's you know it's a fairly even game. Yeah. And we actually only spent one ult. Oh yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, it looks like they're they're turning it around slowly but surely. Better late than never. Now let's hope they can win the whole game. Yeah, this also is attack side first, too. Just to note. Mm. Okay. 
Look at all this water. I do like how it looks. <laughs> very, very nice. Oh, oh. Looks like they're changing their minds. I think they are scared of Yuri. Yeah, they have a good amount of info, but oh. something's a little too far forward. Nice. Wow. Very Sprays good come through. Oh. Uh, looks like they're sure. just pushing. Sure, okay, yeah. Just pushing for B. Oh. Oh. Oh nice. my god. Nice. Okay. Come on, bring him back. You can't really push this anymore. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah I don't the, spike think so. the spike has to go down. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Sure, I like it. <laughs> because, like, you're also down on creds. Yeah. So. Never oh, mind. Oh. <laughs> no, oh, no. no. <laughs> not, not looking good. Oh, they, they hear it. They hear it. Someone's trying. They're baiting it. There's no way to fake. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. Is that, is that enough? No, oh. it's, it's, it was half to. Oh, okay. NT, NT. That was a really good attempt, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, the, the execute was so good. And then it was. They, I think they fumbled towards that. <laughs> I don't know. I know our monitors are working, and the internet's pretty good here. I don't know what happened. Oh, man, it's hard to say if it's ping different or not. <laughs> and look, let's see what else the Tritons have in store. Round 10, okay. So we got this round, two more rounds to go. <laughs> I like it. The, the team's coming alive. Yeah, they are. <laughs> you know, morale was at an all time low last oh. game. Very much so. <laughs> uh, we're getting there. There's a lot to watch out here. Looks like they're gonna commit to the A site. Oh, dang, the sprays come through. Yeah, well. Wants the gun, gets it. <laughs> you should run. Oh. Okay, they commit all. I wonder. 30 seconds oh, left. Should probably just rotate. Oh. Oh man. Last player standing. Spike down, C. Oh, looks like you just save left. at this point. Yeah, it's falling apart. They were playing so organized. I know. But the round oh. did start with like an unfortunate spray through the wall. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, WCU can push that no risk because they have so much money. One dream ends. I guess, no, one of them was four actually. The Fade <laughs> was the one, even the one who peaked. No. Bold. In this economy? Keep it cool. Are we gonna be on time? The Overwatch game is at one, right? I think 130. Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking if this goes to game three, which it will. Let's go, Tryons. Please, sounds like you're jinxing. <laughs> hopefully, they, hopefully they can go to the third round. Oh, looks like they're just. We are stacked. Nope, oh, they're just forcing it through a site. Three jump scare. Ooh, ooh, not this ooh, time, ooh. not this time. <laughs> okay. Face your oh. And goodbye audio. 
No, oh it's so God. over. At least they, they they're it's using a lot of their so stuff. So over. <laughs> At least they use a lot of util on that one <laughs> Phoenix. Spike down A. Oh. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> it's like where do you aim when you see all three just looking at you? <laughs> I mean, last round in this half on attacking side, this is where they come up huge. Well, I'm just gonna have to believe you. There's no way they don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Riri has used his all, right? He used it once. Did he? I think. Well. Hopefully he can use it to gain information. Oh, oh. no, the concussionade! Oh, they did this last game too, huh? Where they only brought out the op on last round? Yeah. Oh, uh. so good. The timing on that flash. Yeah. If Aladdin just kills all of them here and gets his ult, <laughs> then it's winnable. <laughs> Oh yeah, they nerfed the Sage self heal, right? Oh, like a crazy amount. That's crazy. Switching sides. Yeah, but now we're on the defense. And this has many implications, <laughs> such as the other team is now attacking. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, that's all I got. That's probably as much as information <laughs> as I got as you. Oh no, unfortunate turret placement. How will this affect Termulo's mental? <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't affect too much. <laughs> Where's this wall going? Oh. Oh, you have map flip. I just noticed. Right? Yeah, it's flipped. Or like, res uh, respective to your side. Yeah. Yeah, CT's south. Dude, threw me off. <laughs> oh. Okay, nice. we look for right click. Last player standing. Unfortunate. Oh man, what a shot. Oh. This guy's crazy. Do you believe that they can pull a reverse sweep from here? It's it's rough <laughs> because they lost the pistol round, which means they're going into this with little to no money. I think they should yeah. all just buy Sheriffs and <laughs> full send it. <laughs> yeah, usually losing the pistol round means you lose the next round as well. But you know, we, we've seen uh, we've seen things happen. I believe I believe they can turn it and pull off a miracle run. Oh my God, assassin! <laughs> Wait, why they are in there? Uh, and they're really sending it. Oh. Oh, that wall, what a bait. Dude, no way. That? No way. Is that actually a good strat? No, if they push through because it, Oh. Because they saw the wall, so they wouldn't expect, you know, the, the Sage to be in there. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> Sage doesn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, okay, now you're actually just stuck low. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts.
it's not looking too bright, but looks like looks like the players are just trying to have a good time, and then we'll probably learn from it. You know, it's a good yeah, opportunity. It's, a, it's the start of the season, yeah. and it's round robin. Like, yeah, you know, just be, it's not a tournament format. Meaning, like, when you lose, you're out. It's you're gonna be playing, and then you get points. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it was more harsh. <laughs> really, it was tournament format. I, I'm not sure for Nace. So yeah, for Nace, it's like a series. Like you know how like LCS and stuff is. Oh, like okay, like groups. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, nice peek. Ooh. Oh my God! Looks like Rory sees two. Get out of there. Looks like they're being very cautious on both sides. I think someone's senses are tingling. Spidey senses is tingling. Oh, that was an awkward spot to be in on the WSU side. <laughs> Even players right now. The door. Is it real this time? Oh, oh, oh my God! They tore through that fast. Oh, they're just everywhere. Yeah, it, uh, we're keeping it even. <laughs> we're not. Dude, I just noticed that sweet goldfish on that phantom. Oh, is that Nemo? <laughs> Look, nice. Oh. oh, what? I I think I think they're about to do a reverse sweep. Bro, it's one round. Relax. Just have faith. <laughs> oh, looks like they're spending. They got you at this point because you put them at. Because the thing about with how much allowance WSU has, as in how many rounds they're allowed to lose, yeah. when you're on match point, when they're at 12, and you know, let's say the scoreline's 12-4, they could just keep throwing the next rounds and then they until they pull up five ults mm -hmm. and like full buys. <laughs> so that's that's why they got it. They have to keep the momentum they have going right now. Oh, oh my! Was that no all of them there? I guess they're full sending it towards Seaside. <laughs> Dude, the team's losing. They're losing it. But their mental is high. <laughs> no, it's shattered. <laughs> of course it's shattered. <laughs> Oh, oh dude, that was a debate. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky for WSU, who will only be getting 12 rounds this game. <laughs> Let's go try it. Yup. Let's see what they can try and pull off. This is all or nothing. Do or die. In game. I think we should just full, full send it. <laughs> On all Dude, sides. This is rough. Look at the buys. You have to make do with what you got. <laughs> you should run. Oh, looks like they're trading guns. Yeah. Because sources say he has all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, that's, he that's used what it. I've been hearing. Oh. Looks like that was coming from the bottom side. Spike planted. Oh. oh, man. Unlucky. I suggest you Actually, oh. yeah, now I'm thinking about it, this is winnable. 
Jesus. I just I just I finished crunching right. I finished crunching the numbers. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. By the time you said that, it was down to one player. <laughs> you jinxed right. it. Alright, GG's <laughs> to WSU. Take two over. Try it. Unfortunate, but it's just like he said, it's just the first game. Yeah. Of the. Turn of, of the I mean, the team is still just warming up. It's the start of the yeah. season. Like, as long as they don't let it get them down and. No. I they they've got some. I think by the they've got stuff to study now. Yeah, I think by the comps they were like, "This, this is cool. We can, we can drop a game and then just go undefeated next time." <laughs> yeah, it looks like they are gonna be taking a lot of notes from the game. Yeah, so now I'm left with a decision as production. Uh, we have the Overwatch game mm -hmm. at one thirty, and it's only twelve thirty-eight. I don't know what to do. What do we do? Probably just end stream and then wait. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we'll run the commercials. Once again, shout out to our sponsors, uh, GTA, Glidepath, and Guam Army National Guard. Well, we wouldn't be here without them. Yep. So we'll be back. Are you commenting Overwatch also? Do we have someone for Overwatch? It's actually supposed to be one of the players from Overwatch. We'll figure it out. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll see. But just out. in case this is, you want to like say anything, just in case you, you, you're, you're done? Uh... It was nice casting for the first time. It was actually yeah. really insightful. Yeah, you'll get more comfortable. Just let loose. Honestly, people don't really care what you're saying. As long <laughs> as you're saying stuff. <laughs> well, I hope so. But always, gotta know, gotta keep a filter on. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's it. We'll be back at 1.30, guys. So right. be sure to check us out then. Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. Until next time. We understand an upside down world, but they're writing us off before we get to the starting line. A stalled generation? Who do you think is gonna fix all this? We will, because our future is the future. The next greatest generation is now. We all start somewhere. We start with the day. We start with him. We start with family. We start with a lesson and the perfect wave. We start here and here. We start at your office and your home. We start with the connections that matter the most, the ones that move us, change us, inspire us. In an ever-expanding world, personal connections are what tie everything together what ties us together. We all start somewhere. At GTA, we start with you.